Howdy. Today we're going to make a camp stove out of a beer can. Uh, so you're going to need a beer can. I got a Miller High Life here, the Sportsman Edition. It's got a little beer on it. Um, you're going to need a, a pocket knife. You're going to need a Sharpie. You're going to need a book. I got the Lone Ranger here. And you're going to need a, a pair of scissors if you got them. First thing you're going to want to do is cut the top off of this thing. Not the top here, just the inside here. And there's kind of two ridges here, one indentation that's really deep, and then the edge here. What you want to do is get the edge here, as close to the lip as possible. So you're going to put your knife in, and gently you're going to wiggle it in until it breaks through. So you wiggle, you wiggle, you wiggle. See, I broke through there. And then you're going to want to follow it around and be gentle. Then you can... Okay. There we go. Then you clean that up a little bit if you want. Okay, now you got it nice and round and clean here. What you want to do now is you're going to need your book. Uh, you don't need this. And your sharpie thing here. What you want to do now is take this book, which is this down here, and this will give you a nice level line here. So what you can do is you spin this, and it'll give you a nice line there, see? That's your cutting line. Now you can take your knife, and what I've been doing, I've tested this several times, is I cut a little higher on the line, see? Not, not there, give yourself some room, because we're going to clean it up in a second. So get your start in here like this, and then we're going to move into the scissors, okay? Take these scissors, just cut it. And don't ruin this part if you don't want that. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is uh, get your scissors and you're going to want to follow this here line so that you can go like that. And be careful with these two. Everything on here is damn. Okay, I clean the blood off of this too. You don't want blood on it, okay? Clean the blood off. Nice. Just clean that up a little bit. See? Nice little straight face there. Good size. Now you want to sweep all those up, but not with your fingers because you'll get cut. You're going to have some of the top come off when this goes down in here like that. Line that up, put that up, and then you're going to want to come down here. So get a white part of this can here. And then where you see that, you make a line like that just to get you started, okay? And hopefully, you can maybe use this again and just measure you a straight line there. So we're going to start cutting again. We don't need this. We need our scissors, okay? Okay, now, what you're going to want to do is cut along this with, with these, okay? And so you, you got to grab it here. Start cutting like this. Be, ca be careful because you're gonna. Oh, damn. Damn, again. And straight up like this. See? I find it going the other way like this works to straighten out really good. And that's nice and straight, see? That's good and straight. I'll clean this stuff up again. What we're gonna do is make some ridges here and what you want to do is take your knife put your fingers in like this and you're going to want to come down and make a nice little indentation like that see that ridge and move down about a finger and do another one and make sure it don't slip Ow. darn Okay, if you've done this correctly then, you've got all of these nice ridges in here as you can see. If you got any buckles in there, you get them out like that. Then this should fit really nice and easily right in there like that. You're going to get a little vent hole in here. Now you can use this, but I've got this, this thing here. So what you're going to want to do is look for a good place here. Just get your finger back there a little bit. 
just come through until you, you can feel it. You don't have to go that deep. Because when you, you go that deep, then you, you've gone too far. Um, so you got your little vent hole there. Let me get this on, then we'll finish up here. Um, so you got this here. Uh, you got this. Now we're ready for uh, a little, uh, let's clean our area here. A little 70%. Uh, I'd go a little higher. I'd actually go 90 or 100% there, but that's all we got right now. I like to get me a match and then a lighter. Just for fire safety issues. I don't want my uh, band aid light on fire. And then that should go pretty quick. It's actually going, it, you just can't see it. Remember that Ricky Bobby movie? Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobby, I'm on fire. There we go. It's coming out faint. Fire safety first. You can see we've got a good flame going. And then you got to be gentle with this. So after about three to five minutes, your tea bag, your water, depending on how much you got in it, should be boiling. And I ran out of coffee, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make myself some tea today. And as you can see. pretty good. Be careful with your pots there. Now when you want to extinguish this, I'd suggest you get yourself one of these and you, cause you can't blow this stuff out and then you can just get in. Then this will cool down pretty quick. So there you have it. A camp stove made out of a genuine aluminum beer can. When you're finished, they store nicely in your little snuffer box here. And these things make great gifts. The traditional gift for 10th year anniversary is aluminum. Ain't a woman alive wouldn't appreciate one of these on her 10th year anniversary. So you all take care now. I'm gonna go muck the stables or something.